First time these two teams are meeting since a Big East Tournament quarterfinal last March in Connecticut. A 105-85 Marquette victory as the Blue Demons control the opening tap. DePaul with 10 victories, 5 defeats, off to a 3-1 and one start in Big East play. 5-3 and three here at home, and Morrow not wasting any time. Rebound for Emily LaChapelle. And DePaul will go in to Morrow early and often to get her going. Chloe Morata had it blocked. A block there for Morrow, who comes in. A team best, 15 rejections. Quickly inside, and two points for Jory Allen. And that's one thing I like about Morrow. She didn't make that shot, the turnaround, the tough one down at the other end, but she comes back and makes a big play on the defensive side. Defense leading to offense for the Blue Demons, who come in averaging just below 80 points a game, second best in the conference. Jordan King, her first shot attempt goes. I said you like that about Jordan King. Did not have the best game against UConn. And the rebound again brought back in by La Chapelle, who comes in fourth in the team, but just below three rebounds a game. At times, rebounding by committee as King with the spacing able to drain the triple. First year's guard Maeve McElaine and forward Zaria Hurston get some minutes tonight. He said winning and taking care of my players goes hand in hand. Casey, thank you. McElaine into the game. Takes a lot of rebounding power away from the Blue Demons. People looking to improve her free throw shooting. The Golden Eagles on two for two shooting. Murata. Rebound deflected and control here by Williams. Second chance opportunity for the Golden Eagles. And Kumu. Deflected by Murata, recovered by Williams. On the attack. And Kumu going right back out, a three ball. King knocks it down and she starts this game three for three. Another situation where Marquette getting multiple looks at the basket. I think she's fired up after going two for nine on Saturday. <laughs> Absolutely, but she was in foul trouble. In fairness to sure. Jordan King, she was in foul trouble in that UConn game and that really took her out of her rhythm. And a jumper there for Rogers. How about that for being in rhythm? Darion Rogers has just had a fabulous start to this season. Such a complete player for DePaul. Number two nice. on the team and scoring to the back door. Cut, catch, and score for Emily LaChapelle. Her bread and butter on Saturday, but you see the back door cut great find. As Marquette playing with 10 6, leading now a traveling violation here against Rogers. He will keep a number of possessors alive. And that is going to be on the shoulders here of Anissa Morrow to get. DePaul back on the plus side in the rebounding column. Again, they go hard. But Marquette just attacking the offensive glass, making a living there. Third time the charm there with Chloe Murata. She is relentless, a lot of energy. Spunk is a word that many of her teammates use when referencing Murata. And she is back now for her fifth season. She has played a lot of games in Marquette uniform. And she just has a lot of confidence. Love that matchup, too. We just saw Moro battling Murata. Yep. All the way to the bucket. Two points there for Rose and Kumu. See Mackerlane back out there. Early entrance into the game off the attack. Lost Chappelle with the spacing. Buries the triple. Well, she just a freshman, but she is playing with so much confidence. A big game against UConn, the reigning Big East freshman of the week. What a beautiful looking shot. Coach Duffy calls her a sponge, always watching film every chance she has, always looking to, to improve. How about that? Beautiful shot for beautiful shot. Yeah, Nisa Morrow with that three-pointer. Nisa Morrow, we've talked about it all season, trying to expand her game. Of course, her bread and butter is in the paint, but trying to pull her game out to make herself a more complete player. Has shot a lot of threes this season. Yeah, she already attempted, at least coming into this game, 30 more threes than all last season. Murata with the jumper over Kendall Holmes. A, a nice mismatch there. Murata taking advantage. This being Chloe Murata's 132nd career game, now third all time in Marquette program history. Again, this time off the mark for Morrow. But Rogers, the putback, staying with it. Tough angle. Gets tied up in a jump ball, arrow benefiting Marquette. We've seen some really tough offensive rebounding out of both of these teams there. Second season for Miles with Marquette after transferring in from Illinois. And last year, Miles played in 32 games with a couple of starts. Looking to pick it up as a foul drawn off this drive. I and mean, they're, they're getting really good position on the Blue Demons. 
Anaya Peoples just sub back in. That's another thing, when you start looking at the breakdown lately, although when it comes to three point shot, they've gone three for three here in this opening quarter. So inside, outside action, off the drive. Peoples with that quick step. Yeah. And Peoples has been such a steadying force for DePaul. It's just so fluid. And, and wow, Morrow so good at reading the passing lanes, especially when she plays up on the point. Quick, quick feet. And then she's got that long reach. You've got to watch your passes if she's near the passing lanes. That brings the Blue Demons back to within six. That be Morrow's second bucket you see La Chapelle as Marquette is four for four from three-point range. She is earning herself a permanent spot in that Marquette starting lineup. On the spin, Peoples. The box out there, La Chapelle will bring in the board. She's also coming through with some rebounds. That's her fifth already in this opening quarter. So an 8.5 rebound start. Nice for pass. Chappelle. Good Marana look. Able to finish off the assist from La Chapelle. Claire Capis out there for Marquette. Shot clock winding down. Miles there defensively, and then the backside. See the battle. They get lost Chappelle for her second. As the first free throw short for Hurstit. As a team, the Blue Demons looking to pick it up at the free throw line. They find themselves eighth among 11 in the Big East. Shot clock dark, final 13 seconds. And a DePaul foul. Been impressed with how efficient Marquette has been on offense. They're shooting 50% from the field. They're really in rhythm. They're taking their time. See Miles bounced away from her homes on the takeaway. And bounces out back to the Blue Demons, which is over three seconds left here in the first. They have come out focused here in this opening quarter. Rogers at the buzzer. Almost got the banker. Certainly, again, a refocused Golden Eagles team looking for that quicker start, and they certainly got it. Kennedy Miles finds the cutter. They, they had a good defensive effort. They just came up a little short offensively. Legal screen here that goes against Morrow. So she picks up what is her first, already the second to Paul foul. Not a minute into the second quarter after they had two fouls all the entire first. Peoples trying to go inside. And take it away by King. So pull up and hit. And Jordan King is now five for five from the field with 14 points. And that was a missed opportunity for DePaul at the other end. Usually a good team at converting other teams' mistakes into instant offense. Morrow hits her second three. And there is some instant offense. Her career high is 30. That was a game in which she went 13 of 17 against Loyola out of Chicago. Murata banged it off the backboard. Marquette's been making such crisp cuts. They're doing a great job with that backdoor play. Nice mixture of inside out. Picking their moments to shoot that three-pointer. Rodgers able to work her way on the inside. Diane Rodgers has such an arsenal, such a good shooter, long-range shooter, but she can back you down. She's got a post game. So good at getting herself to the rim. Look at her production. Up by almost 10 points a game from that last season. That for Rodgers. Shooting about 37% oh. from the field. Miles jumper gets the friendly bounce. Really make Marquette shoot under duress. Yeah, King looking a little uncomfortable. That shot clock down to one. A three ball is off the heel of the rim for Mackerley, but second chance opportunity not to be, despite the quality attempt there for Morrow. Ball started two for seven from the field here in this second. Hair hits the three. Marquette is now five of six from three point range. An excellent ball movement on that possession. She's had some three point shooting struggles lately. Last five games, two for 20. That's got to feel good seeing that one go down. Her first attempt on this night. Morrow able to knock down the jumper. 
One thing that Doug Bruno told us is as Morrow is expanding her game to try to shoot more threes, she has become excellent at the tough twos, those tough mid-range jumpers that not a lot of players like to shoot. She's really good at knocking those down. Marquette up 14. Williams after the ball fake. They will get that baby jumper to go. Right over the top of Anissa Morris, who's an excellent shot blocker on top of it. Boy, you, you love offense, you like pacing. What a first half so far. Uh, yeah. King to the bench with Nkumu back on. Kate Fest picking up her first foul. And the first free throw clunks in for Kendall Holmes. The very first get together with the El Maguire Center last January was an 88 to 85 Marquette overtime thriller. And we mentioned when they last met in March during the Big East tournament, 105 to 85. So these are two teams that know how to get up and down the floor against That's one right. another. That's right. Always an entertaining game between the two rivals. In Kumu. In Kumu. They have started three for eight from the field here in the second. And it's been tough though, outside of the starting five, and then we've touched on it a little bit as far as the bench or lack thereof. Depth has certainly been tested. Number of injuries here and there, and about nine out of the 14 on the roster are active. Everybody else is out wow. with injuries. That three-pointer goes for Morrow, who's now hit three threes in his first half. <laughs> I mean, and what a tough shot off of a block on her shot in the paint. She somehow gathers it back and backs it out to shoot a three. I mean, wow. She's now three for five from beyond the arc. Hare, Rogers got a piece of it. Parada. And the rebound hauled in by Morrow. I know Morrow just made a three down on the last possession, but I would like, well, I was gonna say, I'd like for her to set up more in the paint. And DePaul, like that, Jory Allen on the putback, but needs to get more high percentage shots. That's from the paint. Set Morrow up down in the paint down there and let her go to work. A quick five points has the Blue Demons back to within 10. In Kumu, Murata to work. Gets that hook. She's one of those players that last year was hit hard by injury, limited to a couple of games. That teardrop falls for Holmes. Two tough losses right there where your primary ball, ball handler is out. Shot clock's down to two. King oh. this time beats the shot clock Beautiful. buzzer. Holmes. As King was battling for the rebound, a loose ball foul against Hurston. You see that big bruise on Troy <laughs> Allen's bicep there? My goodness. <laughs> she, she fights hard down there in the paint, though. As they have put up 20 out of, 28 out of the team, 46. But in all... Seven players among the nine that played for Marquette have scored. Rogers had it batted, and Kumu knocks it out with 1.2 seconds till halftime. Not to be Murata right there in the face of Morrow. Casey, thank you. DePaul is also trying to build off their best third quarter of the season. In fact, their best quarter period when they scored 31 points in the third against Creighton on Saturday. So hoping to come out of the locker room once again with that punch, that fire that they had on Saturday. Both of these teams need a good start here in this third quarter. Miles gives Marquette that quick start. Excellent patience, nice ball movement, and that was a good-looking shot. Again, you have Miles out there with Liza Carlin out with injury. A change to the Marquette starting five. Their fifth different lineup used this season. They've changed it up now over the last now couple of games. And, and Miles, a good option for Marquette. She was a good, good player at Illinois, the transfer. And she was. You see a three ball for Kendall Holmes. A nice patience there by DePaul. Really working the ball, making that Marquette defense work. Rogers the takeaway, taking it away from Lost Chappell. Lead feed, tough angle, shot won't go for Holmes. Put back Rogers, and that's DePaul basketball. That is everything right there, like you said, but the angle on the on the transition, but DePaul will punish you on the offensive boards if you don't box them out. 
Murata, nice oh, dump nice. off inside and lost to Pell off the assist from Chloe Murata. Great teamwork. Blue Demons basketball. Peoples. Now watch that shot clock. Rogers with two to shoot. Has to put it up. It's going to be a shot clock violation. Murata posting up on the inside. Shot clock inside of 10. And Kumu runs it down. Shot clock down to four. And Kumu taking a scenic route. She beats the shot clock buzzer. Wow, that, that was tough. But kind of making, definitely making lemonade out of lemons there. Not, <laughs> not a lot of options. Went what, just one from eight from the field on Saturday, scoring a couple of points, but has nice. one double figures on a couple of different occasions. But Marquette will keep possession. King off the inbound. Murata, too strong off the backboard. Another rebound for Morrow. She'll attack. Going to the free throw line. But I, I think that she's feeling like this is go time for her. We mentioned it. We go back to Saturday's game against Creighton. She did take over the game in the third. Mm -hmm. As again, she came out. And... King has cooled off after a quick start. Great start. And now 6 of 12 from the field. Unable to hit there. And the rebound for Morrow. Rodgers. The Marquette defense able to get back. But Rodgers cannot finish. Again. And a foul here against the Golden Eagles. Yeah, she is a warrior. Not afraid to sacrifice her body. And she is getting a well-deserved rest right now on the DePaul bench. And the rebound here for La Chapelle, but before that can take place. And Megan Duffy not liking that. That's the last thing that you want to do is put a team on the free throw line when they're trying to get back into the game. The clock is stopping, and, and that's all that a team can need is just a little bit of a spark there to get themselves going. Well, don't look now. It's a nine-point game as Miles King. Somehow found it. Murata hits the jumper. They try to continue to cut into this deficit. And as close as nine points after being down 46 to 32 at the break. Rogers hits the oh. shot. Oh, and that, that's a tough one. D Doug Bruno on the sideline going, no, 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 that's a tough one. And okay, yes. <laughs> Darian Rogers has been known to make those kind of tough shots. She has nine points, six rebounds. Here in a minute left here in the third. King. And the rebound brought in by Kendall Holmes. Arquette's been up by as many as 16 points in this game. Rogers fading. And Miles cannot find the rebound. Morrow does. Morrow again. Okay, gonna have to be quick here. And it goes to Miles. Down low, Murata. Whacked oh. away. Morrow with the block. Put back not there for King. Here comes Peoples. Final five seconds. Peoples. Oh. Offensive foul. Final seconds. King from half court. And that will do it through three. Arquette with a 54-47 lead. In a third quarter, I would see the Blue Demons put up 15 allowed, just eight. To the fourth we go here in Chicago. Marquette by seven at Wintrust Arena. King. We're going to back on track as she feeds it inside of Murata. And Chloe Murata. Jory Allen down into Nisa Mora, but again, you mentioned it, Marquette defending it well. Yeah, Williams with that long wingspan. She's from Chicago. Three balls off the back iron for Holmes. La Chappelle. Here's Williams. Arata keeping the possession. Well, that's a killer for the team like DePaul trying to cut into this lead, giving Marquette another opportunity. Meanwhile, they, they use so much of the shot clock. 
Leads to this three ball. It's nothing but net I mean, for Mackenzie Hare. Just, Time out to Paul. Doug Bruno, just a disaster there because you get it a second chance. Now you're working the shot clock and hitting a three with three seconds left on the shot clock, and you're trying to climb into this game if you're DePaul. That, that is like the worst case scenario. And Rogers trying to weave through traffic. Morrow. Lost Pell brings down the board. Morrow hitting three threes in the first half, has not hit a three pointer, then, then again has not attempted a three here in this second half until now. Make that her second now in this second half. She's 0 for 2 from three point range since halftime. King hits the three pointer. With four seconds on the shot clock, Peoples into the game and a foul away from the ball. They, they are not used to being in this position. And Murata and company, I think they're feeling a little bit of pressure coming in. Mm -hmm. Three straight losses. They haven't lost four straight since they began the 2015-16 season 0-4. Oh Trying to figure it out. Put it all together and they pretty much have so far in this one as Morrow stays with it. She now has 20 points. That's so relentless this relentlessness of Anissa Morrow. She <laughs> gets a lot of points typically doing that. That comes after the first 10 points of the quarter scored by Marquette. They had two more thanks to Williams. Uh, this DePaul team going back to this is unfamiliar territory to, for, uh, for them, especially at home. This team averages almost 80 points per game. Jumper comes up short for Holmes. Put back though for Jory Allen. Now without Liza Carlin, Makaya Williams certainly seen more minutes here tonight. It's been her first appearance since December 21st against Colorado. And she's made the most, four points, seven rebounds. Well, doesn't reflect in the stat sheet. Number of strong defensive plays and just her presence has made a difference. Law Chappelle cannot get the bounce. Santa Luz ball foul is going to go against Murata. Trying to do everything that she can to help this team get back into the game. Three fouls now, Murata. Count that bucket and the foul for Peoples. It's been such a blessing, especially in this season in which DePaul has had so many injuries. And she will complete the three-point play foul on the foul against Micaiah Williams. Wide open, Hare. There's the putback for Williams. I see Marquette quickly getting back with Anissa Morrow already back on the attacking end for the Blue Demons. Nice Zip pass. inside to Morrow, give the assist to Rogers. Those two work so well together. Great high-low pass. Stays a 12-point Marquette lead. King off the window. Rogers the rebound. Ahead to Morrow. Peoples. The triple. You can feel it. A little bit of a momentum shift there. A quick timeout. So a nine-point game. And Kumu. And Marquette working the shot clock down. They've done a good job of that all game. King to Murata. Almost automatic with that mid-range yeah. jumper. Boy, down 11. Can't waste much time. Peoples. She's been the answer. Oh, yeah. and that was a tough shot, but a good-looking shot. Nice and solid there by Anaya Peoples. DePaul's knocked down their last four field goal attempts out of bounds off Rogers. This has been a fourth quarter that has seen despite Marquette scoring the first 10 points. They have outscored DePaul just 16 to 14. King. And the shot clock at 10. Offensive foul against Rose and Kumu. Knocking down May Mackerlane. And sometimes it's those little plays like that that energizes your crowd, energizes your bench. Paul looking to try to get some kind of momentum going in their favor.
Trying to go inside. Williams denying the feed intended for Peoples and a foul against the Blue Demons. The way she has played here tonight. Yeah, she sure has. I've been really impressed with LaChapelle. Marquette will be at Creighton on Sunday. After this, the Blue Demons hit the road for the first time since December 10th. First game out of the Chicagoland area since December 4th. They go to UConn. That's on Sunday. Taking on UConn, who's in action tomorrow at Xavier. Shot clock violation is Murata. Rogers. Can't get the roll. Williams the rebound. King trying to get into the front court. Bumped there by Kendall Hall. Well, this is their thing. I mean, they, they held uh, UConn to one of UConn's lowest point totals of the season. Yeah, 61 lowest, yeah. points. That's the second fewest. Yeah, DePaul right in that uh, genre there, right in that area code. Not to mention holding DePaul to about 7% below their typical yeah. field goal percentage. Yep. That three-point shot's a big part of their offense. They've been limited to five on 18 tries. Morrow. Trying to go back up with it. And up to 24 points. With the shot clock turned off. DePaul's out of fouls to give. And Kumu splits a couple. Right back to Murata. We'll see if they foul. King. Now the final 10 seconds. Marquette about to pick up their 10th victory. They will improve to 10 and 5. 3 and 3 in the conference. Snap of the three game skid. And DePaul will fall to 10 and 6. 3 and 2 in the conference. They have now dropped back to back.